I've uh, dreaded this day for a long time, and uh, it's just hard to even say it. But I, after 25 years of serving as your pastor, we informed the elders and the staff that we're stepping down to take a position in Waynesville, Ohio with our family. Um, we're going to be part of a revitalization there that uh, needs help. And uh, we're going to be near our kids and grandkids, and we're going to be near our parents who are all right at 80 and to 86. And COVID season sped this up. We thought it'd be a few years from now, but uh, they need us and we need them. Um, but I've spent 25, we've spent 25 years here loving you and you have helped us grow in Christ in ways we could have never imagined. We've seen you grow. The church has grown from little small church to four network churches and 800 to 1,000 people worshiping because what God did here with a little Bible study in Fairview was seven people. Uh, God did this and he'll keep doing it. Uh, there's a lot we don't know and I have seven weeks. I leave at the end of March. Uh, so we'll be bringing more information as it comes. But I wanted you to know, we wanted you to know how much we love you. Uh, we're only four and a half hours away, so we'll come back and preach if you'll have us or come back for barbecue, whatever you say. So we'll come back. Um, but God has another, he has another plan. I wanted Tim to come up. I want the elders to keep coming up the next few weeks. And Tim's going to come up and pray for us and dismiss us. And we'll give you more over the next few weeks. We don't know a lot right now, but we know God's calling us. So Tim, would you come up? Thank you. As we prepare to leave, and I'll pray for us in a moment, I just want to remind you what Paul wrote in Romans 15, 14. I myself am satisfied about you, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge and able to instruct one another. We've been blessed with someone who's been faithfully equipping us well for 25 years. We are sent people whose commission and first priority is to teach others what we've learned, share what Christ is doing in our lives, and continue to advance the gospel. Our work here is not done. This is a strong, healthy church, and we've got so much more work to do in this community. While we don't know exactly what the next few months will be like or how they'll go, that's okay. God does. I know he'll provide for us, and he's still the same sovereign God today that he was last week, that he will be tomorrow. And I hope that's encouraging. As Todd said, I know everyone's going to have a lot of questions. Um, who the pastor will, new be, will be, timelines, um, more information will come out and we'll give it to you. I think a letter is going to be sent later this week. Um, a members meeting, again, is scheduled for later this month. I would encourage you to attend that as well and we'll be as transparent as we can and just let you know what's going on as much as possible. Again, we don't have all the answers, but God does and we trust in Him. So let me pray for us real quick. Mm. Father in heaven, you are good in every situation. You are still king no matter the circumstance. Lord, thank you for Todd and Glenna and the 25 years you've used them in this community and worked through them to further your kingdom. They have both taught and modeled Christ so well and so faithfully in this church. And I want to thank you for answering all of their prayers about this. They've answered, you've answered them in so many ways. And that's giving them confidence and boldness to step out on faith and go where you are leading them next. Lord, for this church, I pray for them. I pray for this congregation today and in the coming weeks. Because this hurts. Faith is tested in hard times, and this is hard. But Lord, you're still our sovereign king. You're our great comfort in times like this. And I pray for peace and comfort that only you can provide, and that would be upon this church. Even though it's hard to see right now in the moment, I know and we all know you're using this and will continue to use this both for our good and for the good of your kingdom. This is your church, Father, and I pray that we would be found faithful as members of this body, faithful to remember each other in prayer and encourage each other, and most importantly, pray for your leading as we move forward. We only want what you would have for us. May we be found faithful and saying as one church, your will be done, Lord. Thank you for this church and for every integral member of this body. As we leave today, Lord, I pray Jesus' last words on earth would continue to be our first priority, to go out, 
to make you known and to make disciples. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.